Hello everyone. Um, in this quick tutorial video, I'm going to be showing everyone how I go about editing my night sky photography. Um, this is just a basic instructional video on how I process the Milky Ways from RAW. So what I'll do first is um, I'll bring this image into camera RAW. Uh, nothing's been done to this file. It's straight out of camera. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, basically it's this image is really washed out. You can see it's really magenta and red. Uh, the first thing I want to do here with my file is obviously correct the color. So uh, the temperature and tint sliders here are typically what I use to um, balance the color out in all of my images, all of my work. This is the first thing I'll do to my file before I continue on with anything else usually. So, all right, so first things first, I want to start getting back the color in the original. So what I'll do is pull my sliders towards the blue and of course before it was way too magenta so we want to go in the other direction just to separate all the colors so I'm going to go towards the green here and then maybe a little bit more blue so now what that's done is separated the color already just with these two sliders um, you could already see the core coming through here the normal color uh, you can see all this nice green air glow <coughs> Alright, so the next thing you're going to want to do here is apply quite a bit of contrast to this. And uh, Usually when I'm editing my Milky Way images, this is typically how I go about processing them. Um, pretty much 99% of my Milky Way images are processed the same, depending on the tonality and color I want with um, when it comes to blending and you know com compositing, etc. Uh, so yeah, the first thing I'm going to want to do here is, uh, well, the second thing I should say, um, I'm going to hit it with quite a bit of contrast, so we'll go up to about 78. Uh, I'm going to drop the exposure quite a bit. And you want to always pay attention to your histogram, make sure you're not clipping shadows or highlights. Um, so yeah, the next thing I'm going to do here is bump up the whites, just to get some of the cores luminosity back in whites, so I'll hit this up about 50, 50 53. <clears throat> And uh, you can see it's kind of looking a little bit better, but it's still quite green. So I might want to pull away from the green here a little bit towards the magenta again, just to rebalance the color. Uh, the next thing I'm going to want to do here is go to this calibration tab. And um, I use these a lot when I'm processing my sunset photography or sunrises, something with, you know, colorful light, uh, lots of color gamut, etc. So... Um, I do it in my night sky photography as well, but um, so this one here, I'm just gonna increase the red saturation slider a bit and the green a little bit, and that's just gonna make some of the reds and some of the greens pop more in the image. So the next thing I'm gonna want to do here is um, continue moving my sliders just to balance the histogram a little bit further. So. Uh, I feel like the cores may be a little bit too bright, so I'm going to drop the exposure a little bit more and maybe drop the whites just a tiny bit. <clears throat> so yeah, that's pretty much what I'll do with the color as far as color balancing and luminosity goes. Um, the final thing I like to do with my Milky Way images during my process is uh, the detail tab here. Um, so typically you don't want to be adding a lot of sharpening to the stars because it's just going to create a lot of artifacts and noise and chromatic aberration in the stars, etc. So, um, yeah, the only thing I'm going to do here is, moving forward, probably noise reduction. I'll hit it with about 25. Uh, this is usually, it varies between around 15 to 25, um, depending on the image, of course. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, this shot here was shot with a star tracker, so that's why the exposure time is 180 seconds. Uh, in order to achieve this sort of maximum detail within the Milky Way core, you will need to use a star tracker. There are, of course, many other techniques to achieving this kind of detail, such as stacking photos and all that. Um, yeah, so that's basically what I like to do as far as my raw adjustments go to my Milky Way images. Uh, I'll hit OK, and there you can see the before. Uh, all washed out, little detail, the color was way off. And then just five to ten minutes of processing in RAW 
will give you the final version, which is color separation and pretty much all the detail that you could get in a RAW file. That's pretty much it as far as RAW adjustments go um, of processing a Milky Way image from start to finish. Uh, I hope this has been somewhat educational for you and you try and learn how to process Milky Ways through the use of this video. Um, I will in the future be probably teaching everyone how I add glow to the stars and how I make the stars really pop and glow and adding a little bit more detail uh, to the core, of course, using Photoshop. Uh, that'll be included in some future videos, so stay tuned.